Labar Eisenberg, CSR on Wrestling Inc. Wrapping up the Binge Watch playlist. We'll be back in studio here in a couple of weeks as we get ready to hit in to what's going to be our 10th fall season. Our 10th season we're going to be going into, Josh, uh, of Chair Shot Rally. It's amazing. Uh, and we'll, we'll get the entire cast back together. Yeah. Yeah. I know. We're, we're, all, we're all getting older. Alicia Fox, she's going to be up for quite the task uh, this Monday night on Raw. She is going to be the first opponent on Monday Night Raw television for Ronda Rousey. Foxy has been around for quite some time in WWE, so uh, interesting that we have uh, one of the longest tenured women in Foxy going up against the newest in Ronda Rousey. Uh, nobody, I don't think, expecting Fox to get a win here. I think it's more or less uh, how long is this going to go and, you know, does Foxy get anything? How competitive of a match is this? Josh, over under on the, on the length of this one. Under two minutes. Under two. <laughs> I think she might run away a little bit to extend the time. Um, but isn't it interesting that WWE decides to select Alicia Fox yeah. <laughs> out of anybody in the roster? I mean, come on. That's so apparent uh, with, with what happened over WrestleMania weekend. I mean, I guess that's a positive for her career that she's getting paired up against Ronda in her first Raw match. But it's just it's interesting to me because there's so many other ones on the roster. You know, Mickey James would be the first one that I would think of. Uh, just with her veteran leadership, her ability in the ring, and, and being able to maybe extend a match for Rousey. But, I mean, it's going to be good to see Rousey in another match. I think it's a smart idea. You know, you don't necessarily need to continue to build Bliss and Rousey right now because, I mean, it does build it, but it builds in a different way. You're not necessarily having them talking back and forth or a contract signing or things like that. So um, I think this is a good idea. It's a good opportunity. You might get one Alicia Fox Northern Lights suplex because it is so pretty when she does that. <laughs> um, but I think Rousey wins in under two I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. I, I, I think you know Rousey's obviously gonna she's gonna look pretty dominant, but I, I, I'm gonna give it just a little bit longer. And whether you know, whether it's cat and mouse tactics or, or whether they do, you know, uh, allow Foxy to get get a few in on her. Um, I, but I, you know, and I and I'm an Alicia Fox fan. I really am. I have been for several years. But I will say that I don't I don't think this is gonna go down as like some you know that she got to yay be the first woman to to work with Ronda Rousey on cable. I, I mean. Do, do we remember who the pitcher was when Bonds hit the, the big home run for the set the record? You know, I mean, like, I don't know if that's going to really be a, a shining moment, so to speak, for Alicia Fox. Um, it's, not, it's not a bad thing. She's uh, in a match. Yeah, bad. and it's not a bad thing they're putting Rousey on Raw, by the way, um, for a match. You know, you know, I mean, Ronda, you know, Ronda Rousey has. This will be the first time that the truest of casual viewers could see Ronda Rousey. They don't have to pay a single penny. They can just flick on USA Network on their television channel, and they could see. Ronda Rousey inside a pro wrestling ring. They don't have, and, and, and obviously, hopefully, this will push them to subscribe to the network. But I think this is a good move. Um, I expect, you know, uh, I'll be interested to, to watch across the the media this weekend. I'll be interested to see if WWE kind of makes a a little more aggressive push to promote that Ronda is going to be wrestling on Raw to try to grab again those casual viewers that you know might say, oh, I remember her from the Octagon. She's really wrestling. I can see this for free um, because this is a big deal, and this is what you want to try to push to saying, all right, here you can see her now on a pro wrestling ring. Nine ninety nine. You can see her potentially win uh, the title in a few weeks uh, at the Barclays Center. And that's good business. And yeah, the one on one match at SummerSlam obviously is going to be interesting between her and Bliss. But as you alluded to last segment, Charlotte has been added into the women's championship match on SmackDown uh, by defeating Carmella. So now it's her, Becky Lynch, and Carmella. Is this the end, or do you add another piece, Justin? It's. I'm going to say it's probably the end. But I, I, re- I mean, I, I would personally add Oscar, uh, and I know that. People will say, "Well, what has Oscar done lately?" And, and I think, you know, you, you need to have Carmella keep running her mouth to Paige, and Paige put her against Oscar and say, "If Oscar wins, now she's at it." Uh, I don't know if they will. Yeah, they have the graphics and all made for Triple Threat. Certainly, they change those graphics too. But uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold that it's gonna be a Triple Threat. But I would like to see the Fatal Four Way. Um, I, I think just for the the, the, the fact that we've, you know, had Carmella say, "Oh, I beat Charlotte. I beat Oscar," just because she's named the fact that she's that she's. Uh, by hook or by crook, gotten away from these um, legitimate challenge, these legitimate challengers in the in the women's division. I think it would be fitting to put Oscar in there, um, but the handling of Oscar has been very baffling. So I'm, that's why I'm not, you know, betting on it to happen. Yeah, and I think they should actually put Oscar in there. Um, an easy way to put him in there is Carmella back talking Paige again, have a match against Oscar. Uh, Carmella loses again, um, but. I think no matter who you put in here, I still think the odds-on favorite is Becky Lynch. Sure. Um, she's been so good, so organic, so natural with the crowd. People have never booed her. They still love her. She's a great wrestler. She's in the best shape of her life. So I think that's a great opportunity uh, for WWE to capitalize on having a real true face. I mean, yeah, Charlotte gets cheered. Austin gets cheered. 
but there's a, a, a weird Daniel Bryan-esque connection between Becky Lynch and the fans right now, and they need to capitalize that on now. They need her to defeat Carmella because that does more for her than it would ever do for Charlotte and Asuka. No, I agree. There's definitely something organic with Becky Lynch. I mean, you know, the, the, all the other women, there's obviously some, you know, Carmella, oh, she can't wrestle, and she, you know, talked about it in her uh, promo this past week. Um, even Charlotte, you know, there's 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 still those people out there that are like, oh, well, yeah, she's okay, or she's good, but she, she's only gotten the push because of her last name. But Becky Lynch, I, I haven't heard any, I haven't heard anybody say, oh, she shouldn't be there. I mean, there, there literally is this organic, as you said, Daniel Bryan kind of feel of like, yeah, this 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 girl's really good, and she needs to continue to get pushed, and and she delivers. So yeah, you're right that this, this would do more for her than any other any other participant they could put in the match. Um, so I absolutely agree that 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 you know no matter whether it's triple threat or fatal four way, I mean fatal four way obviously again would make Becky Lynch's win look that much more triumphant that she was able to be the one to walk out uh, with 25% odds and going up against Asuka and Charlotte as two of the three of them. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see how it does in fact shake out. We'll get more information as we watch SmackDown this week. We'll be live tweeting along with it, so you can uh, jump in the conversation at Josh Eisenberg 4, at Justin LaBar on Twitter. We'll be back next week as we get closer and closer to SummerSlam. Josh, I will see you next week.